the NIHR Research Delivery Network funding model, how it works. From April 2026, the NIHR Research Delivery Network funding model will be adopted across England, providing a new, consistent and nationally agreed funding distribution model. The key aim of the model is to enable a more transparent, fair and predictable system of funding that supports the NIHR and government strategic ambitions and the needs of the whole health and care system, including undisturbed areas and settings. The model itself will include three major regional funding categories. Research delivery funding, regional research delivery network team funding, including the agile research delivery teams, and strategic funding. Research delivery funding. The research delivery funding budget will be split into two funding streams. Funding for NHS trusts and funding for wider care settings, which includes residential, community and primary care. Funding for NHS trusts. Funding for NHS trusts will be nationally calculated using a standardised formula and pass through regional research delivery networks, also known as RRDNs. This includes all acute, mental health, ambulance and community trusts. There are three components used to calculate the NHS Trust delivery budget. 50% of the budget is calculated from historic allocation. This provides a basic level of stability. 30% is based on the research activity the NHS Trust has conducted over the previous three year period. 20% of the budget will be based on performance against a set of key performance indicators. These will align with government priorities. We know that you want to see more intelligent ways to measure research activity that go beyond simply recruitment figures. From April 2026, we will calculate activity based on the number of open studies and the number of weighted recruits using an updated weighting formula which better accounts for differences in study delivery requirements. This is a starting point and we are working to ensure the model adapts to better ways of calculating activity balanced with the data collection burden that we ask of you. As an example, we are exploring how we can incorporate screening and follow-up activity, as well as participant identification centre activity and other collaborative models. We'll be looking for your help to get this right and make this process as simple as possible. Funding for wider care settings. Wider care settings funding will be managed at a regional level based on a national distribution model. Each RRDM will receive a wider care settings allocation. This includes funding for organisations like GP practices, care homes, dental practices, prisons and schools. In addition, it can be accessed by NHS trusts who support research delivery in wider care settings. The funding model builds on, but significantly updates previous schemes for awarding funding to primary care and other wider care organisations. Organisations can secure funding appropriate to their level of activity and their research plans through a combination of retrospective and prospective funding. Retrospective funding is awarded for agreed research activities, typically study support costs, and other payments for portfolio study delivery, i.e. it is based on activity undertaken. Prospective funding, often called infrastructure funding, covers the time for staff to undertake research activities building capacity in the site that is proportional to its plans for research. We know that some stakeholders have expressed concerns that increasing funding for wider care settings might outpace the availability of wider care studies on the portfolio. To support this, we will use strategic and wider care settings budgets in an integrated way. This means that year on year, we can increase or decrease the amount of funding to wider care settings at a regional level based on need. We will have appropriate oversight and frameworks to follow to ensure sufficient funding is available to each. RRDN team funding. The funding for RRDN teams, including the regional agile research delivery teams, will be fixed amounts based on the nationally standardized RRDN team structure. This consistent resource of delivery experts are in place to enhance, facilitate, and support the needs of delivery organizations and sponsors. Strategic funding. Strategic funding is a source of financial support 
from the NIHR Research Delivery Network, also known as the RDN. The funding is aimed at supporting delivery of the RDN strategic commitments, government shifts, hospital to community, analog to digital, sickness to prevention, and enabling inclusive health and care research delivery across England. Every year, each RRDM will receive a strategic funding allocation, which is then allocated to delivery organisations across all settings. The strategic budget is calculated through a combination of a proportion of the overall RRDM budget, 50%, and weighted population, 50%. The RDN calculates weighted population using a long-standing model that has been effectively used by the NHS since the 1970s. This allows us to distribute strategic funding resources between regions based on local population needs, enabling us to invest more strategic funding in areas with the highest disease burden, deprivation and health need, rather than simply overall population numbers or historical spending patterns. Timelines, application processes, and panel decision-making will be standardised across all regions. This means delivery organisations will know when to expect strategic funding opportunities in advance. A national strategic budget will also be available. The national budget enables cross-regional investment. Maintaining stability We know that maintaining budgetary stability is key for delivery organisations to achieve long-term growth. A cap and collar system will be applied to budgets for NHS trusts to minimise large swings in funding. This will ensure that there's both an upper limit, a cap, and a lower limit, a collar, for any budget changes in a given year. The cap and collar varies depending on the size of the budget that the NHS trust receives from the RDM. This means we can protect stability whilst also encouraging growth. Streamlining reporting. We are reviewing the data we collect in quarterly and annual finance returns to ensure it represents the minimum requirements for sound financial governance without additional burden for sites. How to share your feedback and get more support. For further details on the RDM funding model, please visit our website. If you have any questions or feedback, please contact your regional research delivery network. The link for both of these can be found in the description box below.